or could may only get one at double if she does come back. And it is an if. Because Davis is going to throw at the bullseye. Game oh, shot and he's going to hit the bullseye leg. as well. JT Davis. Brilliant. 130. But JT Davis. The hours alone. 122. It's like a curse, isn't it, darts, once you're in. Oh, it could be another big finish here. The bullseye again for JT Davis. He took out a 130 in the opening leg. Game and again on the, the bullseye, JT, JT Davies, Davis, 130-122. Well, we might as well just see him on the ball. Third he leg, did it's say JT he played a couple of ball shooter Game events. On. JT required 40. This needs to come slightly south. Game shot. And that is and a perfect start JT to the campaign Davis. here for JT Davies. A 4 0 victory over the four time women's world champion Lisa Ashton. She didn't manage to get a dart the double in that game, but we do expect as the day goes on, we're going to see the better of Lisa Ashton. But what a start for the 28 year old American JT Davies here on debut. Things that can improve the outcomes. All the outcome be here. Double top is the intended Game outcome. And it's the in the top leg. corner for 2 Marino 2. Michaels. Be bringing end to this match. He can take out 55. Game and shot. There it and is. The it's a strong start so far for the debutants here at the Moda Super Series. Jake Levent. Just local for Stephen Pumps. That is a boat ride away. Game shot on the fifth leg. Scott oh, Walters. Walters. Just keeping himself interested in this game. Yeah, double 18 for Stephen Plumstead to Stephen, make a hat-trick of debut wins for the Game three shot. newbies. And, the and that's what Stephen Plumstead, Plumstead produces. A 4-2 win over Walters, who exits the stage rather rapidly. And Stephen Plumstead, who has dreamt of stepping on that stage, gets off to a dream start. One hundred and eighty. Marino you require one hundred and fifty. That's him calling out the one hundred and eighty. Will it count for nothing? Game he shot on the second leg. Because Marino, Marino has doubled his lead in no time at all. Require forty. Double ten. Double five. Game and shot. Lisa lands and it right in the top Lisa corner. Ashton. And she edges out Moreno Mikel's 4 3. I've seen people take time and still not get it right. Well, the doubles have been the strength for Stephen Plumstead Game and they continue the to be. Stephen Plumstead. He has won seven legs now here at the Super Series. And it's only took Fifth him eight darts at a double to, to do first. so. Turin is crawling to the line. 122. Well, there were some top ball shooting from JT Davis in the first match. In fact, took this out in the second leg of that match. Had a 130. Had a 122. That time it was on the ball. This time he wants double seven. 115. But he can't quite complete the combo and Senior finish the job. 85. It'll be just a dart of the ball for Stephen. 42. Oh, JT he requires you what seven. He thinks. He thinks that's a long way away. It may be the last dart he throws in this fixture. Stephen smiling in the background. It's double one. Game and it's in. Shot. Squeezed and the in the corner JT to squeeze Davis. out Stephen Plumstead. A 4-3 win for the American ace JT Davis, who now has four points from a possible four. It's a strong start. And you can see that he's up for this. And it, Plumstead's still showing how far away he was from winning that match. That match start missed at the ball by some margin. Plan A was to go on the 18s and plan B was to try and force the 18s. Game shot on the fifth leg. Yep, too Christian stubborn, Ball. too rigid, too unwilling to adapt. The Scott board to hit a big score there. I don't feel it would have applied any more pressure on the situation here for Scott Walters. 
Game shot. Well, Scott and the Walters, match. the pressure Scott is all Walters. put on his own shoulders from his own expectations and performances. You can see that in terms of the reaction there. He's got the victory, but he doesn't look like a winner at the moment in terms of the body language. He's Lisa, you require 30. Maybe a little bit awkward the way that a dart sit. She had to come right the way across and she's hit. What a Lisa dart Ashton. for Lisa Ashton. She threw that from about 10 foot, I think. Double 10 Lisa, or a double 80. top at the end of this visit. And it will be top of the shot. shot and Lisa Ashton and manages Lisa Ashton. to fend off the fight back. A fantastic win, a hard fought one for Lisa, but she's now won two from three. And with that victory, she joined JT Davis at the top of the table. Had to you require 68. Oh, nice start. Nice Game finish. on the fourth leg. All square. Scott Walters. He's got a nice clear open target at the top 58. of the board after 12 darts to get Bruno, his first victory 40. of his campaign. Game, shot, and the match. And there it is. Moreno Michael. It is a victory for Moreno Michael. A 4-2 success for the Dutchman. An average of just under 94 in the end for him. Christian, you require 40. Game, Gets shot, on the fourth play. Christian De Boer. Yeah, we're one of the subjects of photography. I used to spend a lot of time with darts players. I used to work as a press officer Fifth before leg. It's JT to throw the line first. into the, Game on. the commentary box. JT, you require 40. Tops for Davis to do that himself. Game, and shot, it. and the match. JT and gets Davis. The four, and he makes it three. A hat trick of victories. For America's JT Davis, Christian DeBoer battled well in that game. Hello and welcome back to the Moda Super Series. We are 10 games in to our Group A campaign. JT Davis has just made it three wins from three in Group A, as you can see. They're coming through a decider to get the better of De Boer. But Matt Edgar, he's not really had to produce anything mind-blowing in order to get those three victories. 86 is highest average so far. He's been tested mentally, but not physically yet. He's battling more with himself in terms of trying to find his best performance. But at some point, he's going to have to. Somebody's going to hit something against him, and then we'll really get the measure of where he is and where his game is. And then can he dig deep and pick that performance when he really, really needs to? It's been quite a strange session, really, hasn't it? Because we waited so long for a player to really put down a marker. Moreno Michels hadn't really done a great deal. And then he goes and puts in the first 90 plus average of the day he's the player who on cv you'd expect to be the player that's going to go the furthest or who could produce the best we've seen him in three different world championships across the two codes whenever you pick up a set of darts you always go right i want to go to the lakeside i want to go ali pally he's played on both so cv wise he's ticked off the two bucket list locations so in terms of the rest of the group, they haven't gone as far. Yes, we might think JT Davies might be one of those players that moves on to it, but in that room, he is technically the man to beat, even though he's not shown it yet, but is this the start of it? This is a three-day group, so you've got plenty of time to get into it, and it looks like he's finding his feet. Yeah, five more matches, of course, to be completed today. Let's have a look at the league standings with 10 games played. Confirmation, JT Davis is top, having won all three of his matches. And if you look there, his leg difference already looking significantly healthier than anyone else in the field. Lisa Ashton, the legend on four points at the moment in second place, and then Plumstead, De Boer, Michels and Walters all joint on two points. Walters is an interesting one as well, wasn't he? Because he was one of the favourites to win this entire week. He's not really looked comfortable at all up there yet. Not at all. And if you would have said to me before a dart was thrown, we'll stand here after 10 games and it'll be Moreno and Scott Walters at the bottom too, I'd say, have you been watching any darts <laughs> recently? It's crazy. Because these are the two players we would have expected to be at the top. Scott Walters have been very active. He's been playing a lot of darts recently and he's been winning. He's been playing well. And I think what's frustrating him the most, as it would, is when you go up there and you've got an expectation and then you fall in low of that expectation, you end up fighting yourself rather than your opponent. And 
he's got to win that battle internally before he can even get competitive here. And we highlighted it at the top of the show. We weren't really sure what to expect from Lisa Ashton today. Didn't get a dart at double in her opening match of the day against JT Davis. But the way she responded to that, a superb victory in her second match, and then to produce against uh, Plumstead in her third match, of course, she was leading 3-0, wasn't she, in that one, and then had to withstand the fight back from Plumstead in that one. Really impressive the way she got over the line. You asked me the question at the start of the day, what do we expect from Lisa or what do I want to see from Lisa? And I said, I just want to see her get through this, feel positive, feel healthy and feel like she can have the year ahead of her. At some point, that's going to have to change because she's won two games out of three now. Yeah. At some point, it's going to go from, actually, I just want to throw darts and feel comfortable to, I'm in this. And that might be in another game's time. We'll give her one more game and then from that point, it's got to change. We've got to start considering as a challenger. Right then, how much more movement are we going to see in the league table over the course of the rest of the action today? Let's hand over to Chris Murphy to get the action back underway. I know you're Just to get level. 83. Plumstead could have been home and hose by now, but double 16 beckons for Mikel yeah, and he hits on the it for an 83 play. out. Moreno Michaels. 2-2. Two, two. So Moreno Michael's chances in Game this match, and they've gone. And the match, a brilliant Stephen 107. Plumstead. For Plumstead, in a 4-2 success against Moreno Michaels, who's not had the best start to his return to the Super Series, having won his week last time he was here. Obviously, he forgot them, so he just guessed he went toffee. He's like, but I didn't give you any toffee ones. 97. Oh, that would have been sweet. Lisa, you require 151. He's going to have to find something enormous here. Can't do it. So Dubois looking to carry on this. 97. Christine, you require 33. Start to this game. Interesting route. Game shot. It works the third for him. Way. Christian Dubois. Christine, you require 144. What a debut day it would be on a Monday at Modus. Not going to produce perfection, 49. but it will feel like a pretty perfect performance for Christian de Burt. 95 when he returns. It could actually be exactly what we were talking about. 217 60. dart holds. Christian, you require 95. dart breaks. Treble 19, double 19 to do that. Oh, he's going 45. 37. Lisa, you require 120. Four darts for Christian de Boer has made a bit of a mess of this. Maybe just the... Finishing line in sight, but he's going to get another go here. 13. Who was he showing off with that point? Was he going 45 ball? We'll never know. Game shot. But he does and the match. take out Christian De Boer. To bring an end to a very, very impressive performance. This shot. Shot that would win him the match. 56. Scott, you require 100. Sort of slotty visit from Walters becomes a bit of a problem. Problem? 80. I had no problem JT, you on the tip of my tongue. But the problem continues for Walters. And JT Davis has had no problems today. Double 16. Game and he shot continues. And the match. JT Davis. To win his matches. No problem. No defeats for Davis, who's made it four from four on his first day of darts at the Moda Super Series. A 4 2 success over Scott Walters. And now Davis is pulling away at the top. That nickname has. Uh, been taken to new levels, hasn't it, recently? Stephen, you require 156. Christian Deber going to new levels here, a 180. To set up a potential 11 data after what was a really scruffy start to Christian, this game. Suddenly, it's 41. caught light. I said, can anyone find the game they both have? Game well, shot on the fourth That's a new play. one on me, and a very Christian successful Deber. one. Going down the Mensa Suljevic school of thinking, trying to lead double 14 at... All possibilities. Like Christian, you require 36. Game shot. Well, there it is. And the match. 
the Christian horn thumping of Stephen Plumstead by Christian De Boer, who ends the day with a positive return, a 4 1 success sealed in that one. Not the prettiest performance because of the start to the match. The first three legs were scruffy, but he says cheers as he leaves the stage. And he leaves the stage with six points for the day. Time on his hands. He's going to have four darts yeah, if he needs them. He does leg. not. He only JT needs the Davis. one. Nice 15 darter there from JT Davis. If he does take this, would be throwing first in the last leg. Changed his mind mid-visit. Was going to go 16 for tops. He said he's gone 20 yeah, he's for double 18. Leg. And it Davis. paid off. Maybe just thought he would have blocked a bit of the bed. Not sure Seven why he made that decision, but he made it. First. And he made it right. Game on. Right now you require 32. Can't blame him after hitting the double in the last one, but now Mikel's once again double 16. Third time he's approached Ioki to get the match won. And right over to try and use that as a wall, as a bit Game of a basketball shot. net. And, match, and he does Marino find the double Michael. 16. Almost wants to get the task done today and start a new one but he can get the job done here tops again Game for a 137 finish Scott for Scott Walters. Walters sometimes something gives you a spark comfortably as well Scott Walters for the whitewash Game and he gets shot. it done and the match a really Scott dominant Walters. display at the end of the day from Scott Walters who manages with that victory to lift himself not just off the bottom of the table but he's managed to leap from both Moreno Mikel's and Lisa Ashton. Four points for him.